Hi guys, David McSweeney here with AHREFs. Today I'm going to show you the process I use to analyse the anchor text of over 250 domains in my recent study of keyword usage in anchor text. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop over to Google and pick a keyword. In this case we'll use payday loans. And we'll just grab the first result there in the organic listings and pop over to Site Explorer and paste in the URL. Now what we're going to be looking for is we're going to be analysing the exact URL here. So we'll click on search and the first thing I needed for the study, I need a few bits of data from here from the summary which were the URL rating, the domain rating and also the number of referring domains. So for each each website, I would record that data into my spreadsheet. And then I would go to Inbound Links and Anchors, which will basically return a list of all the anchor texts from all the inbound links pointing to the particular page. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to filter that down by the particular keyword. So I type in Payday Loans into the filter and click on filter anchor phrases and you can see that's returned 26 results. Now the first thing I need here is to record the number of exact match anchors. So an exact match anchor is when the phrase appears with no other other words in the anchor. So in this case there's 13 exact match and there's 13 do follow exact match and in fact there's no no follow uh, exact match links there we can see. If there was that number would be higher so that could be if that was 25 for example that would tell us there were 12 no follow exact match links. So once I've recorded that information the next thing I need to do is record the number of phrase match links which would be all these ones here. Now I could just go down and count these up but to make things a little easier for myself what I can do is just export that out and if I click on here, quick export, which is fine because there's, there's not that many rows. And click on that and that should open up. Pop over to Open Office. I can just open that up. I'll just make it a bit smaller so you can see it. And what we we'll gonna do here is just take a sum of each of these two columns. And for the second one, I'll just deduct off the number of do follow links from the total referring domains, which will give us the no follow. And the other thing I need to make sure of before I actually record this, I need to also deduct off the number of exact match links because we've already recorded them in our spreadsheet. So we don't, don't want to duplicate them. And that's basically the, the process I used. Uh, very straightforward. And from there I can just pop on to the next result and repeat the process. So uh, that's that's how I analyse the results to see the results of the case study, which is quite an interesting one. Just nip over to the Ahrefs blog and you'll find the, the post on blog.ahrefs.com forward slash anchor hyphen text. And any comments or questions, just leave them for me there and I'll see you soon. Thanks.